One of the other ranch hands died on the job, and we still ain't get the day off. Hello, mister. Okay there? God damn jackass. Hey, the hell'd you want here? Interesting way of putting it, James. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Oh, please. I know how to work with good people, Seamus, and I work in the right way. Well, they all say that. I never met an idiot that called himself one. Very true. In that case, I'm an idiot. But I know how to get things done efficiently. <laughs> Look at me. Why would I lie about this? Arthur, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen. Uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur! Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. Really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? Watch out! The other one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Yep. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches, that's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. Arthur. Yep. So, what's the story with that Emerald Ranch? You find out anything else? A little. Owner's a nasty type by all accounts. Seamus is sure scared of him. That's not saying much. 
Something strange about the place. Used to be a saloon there, general store. Now it's all closed up, but they seem to have money. Sounds worth a look around. For sure. Seamus also mentioned the rancher's daughter a couple of times. How he used to see her around all the time, but now she never leaves the house. Probably just sweet on her. That what you call finding out a little? Once he opens up, seems Seamus does like to talk. Hopefully not too much. Whoa! -ho! Must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. You see anyone? Nope. Okay. I reckon we could do it now. Sneak in, and I'll get the coach. You can try the house. Or wait until morning when I'll head over, distract them by putting on a little show while you sneak into the house, find what you can, and then get the stagecoach. What do you think? Let's do it now. All right. I reckon we're ready. Let's go. Maybe take a peek through the windows before you go in. Make sure it's all quiet.
Get on, dear boy. Problems the better right now. Just need to get this back to Seamus in one piece, and it's a good night's work. So, what were you able to lift from the house? A few bits and pieces. Nothing too fancy. Well, we need anything we can get right now. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly, anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. Looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. It wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye, and as usual, he did not flinch. Exactly. How long you think we're going to stick around here for? Not sure. Here we can't, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Dutch has a new money chest stashed in a safe spot away from camp, but it's a long way from being full. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Why aren't we on the damn road? Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. <clears throat> Park that thing in here. Quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Nah, I'll catch up with you later. Okay. Stay out of trouble.
So old Bob Crawford was livid about his coach getting robbed. I was very sympathetic. You are a good cousin by marriage, Seamus. Oh, I try. Now, anyway, I trust this ain't just a social call. Get out of my way. I'm sorry there. I thought so.
Easy, girl. Did the university send you? Because if they did, they can get lost. <laughs> I have never been so insulted in all my life. Really, laughed at, balderdash. Are you quite certain you're not a spy? Those wretches will do anything to destroy me. My theories are correct, and I can prove it. What are you doing? I am the leading amateur paleontologist in the nation, and not one university will hire me because, unlike them, I actually have ideas. <laughs> You're a what? I study dinosaurs. You know, big lizards. Are they real? Of course they're real, you nincompoop. And everywhere... Everywhere? This state was once a vast, shallow sea that had the most incredible animal that could walk, swim, and fly. Quite unique. I call it 
Totalisaurus. Just for now. <laughs> um, I'm trying to gather all the evidence. Is Deborah McGinnis? Arthur. Good to meet you. Uh, could you give me a hand here, please? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, if you find any of these bones around the country, send them to my homestead at Furwood Rise in Cumberland Forest. Or mail me the locations. I'll reward you handsomely for your efforts. Actually, I think I found some. Uh, here. Excellent. I will go and investigate. <laughs> and we'll be proving a lot of stuck-up buffoons very, very wrong. Which, trust me, is the very best thing about science. <sighs> Good day to you, sir. Let's go, girl. I am mighty glad to be out of that cold, Mr. Morgan. Me too. Oh, I am getting too old for this gallery. Oh, man, can I get a little bit of that? Come on, please, just one sip. All right, here, make it quick. You want a bottle of champagne with that, too, coming right up? Good morning, Arthur.
You know, these hides and furs can also be done up into coats and boots and such. Beyond my skills, but there's a trapper that travels around these parts, Canadian feller, Skill Tanner. He can make just about anything. You should drop in on him sometime. Good job, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, yeah, I know. Thanks, Fish. Oh, Mr. Morgan. I've jotted down a few things that I think could be uh, nice additions around here. Okay, I'll keep my eye out for him. Ah, yes, that'll be okay. much appreciated. Okay, Miss Yasu? A few changes never hurt. You'll work it out, Dutch. You always do. Hello? Arthur, it is good to be off that mountain. I never knew I could be so cold. <laughs> I know, Mary Beth. <laughs> Kinda like it here. But where on earth are we? New Hanover. New Hanover. My lord. <laughs> My mother came from somewhere here. You know where? No, I hardly know much about her. She died when I was young. Mine too. Mine too. Hello, Arthur. Morning. Millionaires yet, Mr. Strauss. Morning, Mr. Morgan. I'm short. Get lost. Well, I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Yep. We need to keep pushing.
Mr. Morgan. I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your god has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him. He's finished. None of us forced liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither, but see, and I do just fine. You want to step outside or do a business here? I just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They're children of God. <laughs> oh. Uh, how's about you playing his place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? Sure. I'll play a few hands. Well, sit yourself down, then. I'm Luther. This is Marvin. Imagine it for you both. We're being gentlemen about this. Same goes for you. So, now you two know each other anyway. Don't seem like the likeliest of friends, if you don't mind me saying. We go a long way back. And now you're his chaperone? I guess it's something like that. Can we play? Okay. He can't be no real clergyman. <laughs> he committed about five cardinal sins just in that chair you're sitting in. I think he used to be. He's... Drifted a little in recent years. Life is a challenge to all of us. Can you imagine him at the pulpit? If he could stand up. On the fourth day, he turned water into whiskey, and I don't remember much after that. <laughs> <laughs> He's a decent fella going through a bad time. Disrespect him again, and you'll find yourself in a bad time, too. All right, all right. Just trying to have a little fun here. It is a game, after all, mister. Yeah. I'll, uh, check. I'll check. Here. Pile of crap. Not looking good. All right, all right. Could have been worse. Huh. Yep, there. <clears throat> Gentlemen, this is getting too rich for me. Sit down. Oh, I'm done, friend. It's been a real education. Come on, Rip. Where is he? Where'd he go? Who? The Reverend. Where it? <sighs> Excuse me, gentlemen. Reverend! Reverend Swanson! Where'd you go? Excuse me. I'm sorry. You, you see a drunken idiot, a priest, wandering about? Sure. We saw him. <laughs> Smelt him and avoided him. <laughs> he went that way, I think. Thanks. Guy looked kind of crazy, mister. Well, you have no idea. <laughs> Swanson! Hey, Reverend! Get your hands off him. You'll keep. You stay out of it. Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch. What the hell is your problem? He's with me. Oh. 
At least hit me proper. Uh, uh, I'll kill you both! Oh my god, you killed him! I'm gonna get the law on you! Please, don't hurt me. You tell anyone what you saw back there? You're a dead man. You understand me? Yep. I I won't tell a soul. I promise. Good. Get the hell out of here. It's the last thing I needed. Reverend! Get off the damn tracks! Come on, my friend! It's just a simple mistake. You can still be saved. to like this place and wants to stay. Get your foot out of here! Twist your leg, you drunken bastard! Help! Help me or we're both dead! to like this place and wants to stay. Get your foot out of here! Twist your leg, you drunken bastard! Help! Get it! Come on! Thank you, sir! Uh, uh, oh, no, you don't! What the hell is wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there that! There was your goddamn train, you crazy bastard! <sighs> Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I was different. <laughs> Let's get you home. Home. Yeah, that's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? But... <sighs> wonderful.
back there. Easy, easy. when he'd show up. <laughs> you better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. <laughs> what happened? Just the usual. Poor <laughs> bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky. This time. Real lucky. Hey, Orth. for this stew. It needs better meat. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Miss O'Shea? Hi there. Hey there. Hello, Arthur. Enough to turn a good, honest fella to drink. <laughs> Being a bad, dishonest fella, it's gonna send me to drink twice as fast. I just can't cope, really. <laughs> I can't. What are you mumbling about? Why are we fighting the Philippines, huh? I don't know. Why are you so worked up about it? Mr. Morgan. Hi there. Hello, Arthur. Hey there. Come on. 
okay. Pretty good. You're all right, girl. That queasy feeling you've been having? Think that's cause there's so many O'Driscolls about. <laughs> you think you're the tough one out here? Think again. Law never seemed to find the bodies in this town. Damnedest thing. Just minding my own business. You looking to prove something here? Breaking your 
pants. I ain't tolerating your jokes today. Uh-huh. Familiar. Hey, Wallace, this here is the kind soul I was telling you about. <laughs> the one that gave you the medicine when the snake got you. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Guess so. Listen, friend, I know I can never repay you, but how about you head over to the gunsmith and pick out your choice of item on my tab? Oh, well, thanks. Yeah, seemed like the least I could do. With him being sent straight from the Almighty to save my life. Hey, yeah, what can I do for you? Almighty. Better outside oh, told me I could are. grab something I'm on his tab. The one with the bite in his leg. Ah, oh, Norbert, huh? Well, he's good for it. About all he's good for between the two of us. <laughs> well, take a look around. Find something you like, and I'll put it on his tab. Fine choice. I'll let them know. Bye now. Get clear! What the? If I ain't mistaken, you you're looking for a man? bounty. Look no further than that wall, son. Why nobody stop me drinking? Nasty individual.
That one? They say she's sleeping rough near Cumberland Falls. And what's more, they say she ain't sleeping alone. Oh, I got it. This bounty you're after, the lady, what's she do? Mrs. Swan? <laughs> Poor dear. Married the wrong man. She thought she could kill him and inherit a fortune. Instead, she got some debts and that bounty on her head. This lady murder. That kind of thing happened much around here? This is a cattle town. There's three men to every woman. And three women to every woman of the marrying kind. Certain type of lady is drawn to this place. Indeed. Be relentless in your pursuit. Thank you. 